Dr. D's Global News and Liberal Arts. This video is about Mr. Shinzo Abe, the longest serving Prime Minister in the history of Japan. In Japan, it has been common for Prime Ministers to come and go in surprisingly short periods. In the past 30 years since 1990, Japan has had 15 different Prime Ministers. That is an average of two years. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe served his first term from September 2006 to September 2007, a total of 366 days. He suddenly resigned due to health issues. Fate gave Mr. Abe a second chance in 2012, when his party, the Liberal Democratic Party or LDP, regained power in a landslide victory. He served from December 2012 and on August 24, 2020, he became the longest-serving Prime Minister in the history of the nation, at 2,799 days, or 7 years and 8 months. However, on August 28, 2020 Prime Minister Abe announced again that he would resign from office due to recurrence of his health issues. This video will look back at the life of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Mr. Shinzo Abe was born on September 21, 1954 in Tokyo. His father, Mr. Shintaro Abe, was a prominent politician. Shintaro's father, or Shinzo's grandfather, Mr. Kon Abe, was also a prominent politician. His mother, Ms. Yoko Abe, is the daughter of former Prime Minister Nobusu Kikishi. In other words, Mr. Shinzo Abe comes from the marriage of two powerful political families of Japan. Mr. Shinzo Abe grew up in Tokyo and graduated from CK University. In 1979, he joined Kobe Steel and worked for three years. In 1982, Mr. Abe became an executive secretary to his father Mr. Shintaro Abe, who was then the foreign minister. After his father passed away in 1991 due to pancreatic cancer, Mr. Shinzo Abe succeeded his father's district and was elected as a member of parliament in 1993. Mr. Abe joined the Seiwakai faction of the LDP, where his father had previously served as chairman. A key moment in Mr. Abe's political ascent came in 2002 when Mr. Xumi from Seiwakai was Prime Minister. Prime Minister Xumi appointed Mr. Abe as Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary. When Prime Minister Xumi led a delegation to North Korea to negotiate the Japanese abductees issue, Mr. Abe's hardliner position won support in Japan. Prime Minister Xumi appointed Mr. Abe as the Secretary General of the LDP, a powerful position in the party which often leads to future Prime Ministers. Prime Minister Xumi further appointed Mr. Abe as the Chief Cabinet Secretary, another signal that he may be preparing Mr. Abe to become future Prime Minister. In 2006, Mr. Abe was officially elected as the Prime Minister to succeed Mr. Xumi. Mr. Abe's slogan was Beautiful Nation Japan, and sought for a set of conservative agendas. His approval ratings were high, at about 70%. However, as several of his cabinet members resigned due to scandals and improper remarks, his approval ratings plummeted to 24% in 2007. In the upper house elections of 2007, the LDP lost their majority and voices rose from his party for Prime Minister Abe's his resignation. On September 12, 2007, Mr. Abe held a press conference and surprised the nation by announcing his resignation. Prime Minister Yasuo Fukuda succeeded Mr. Abe, but resigned after approximately one year, mainly due to his inability to manage the twisted parliament in which the opposition held the majority in the upper house. Prime Minister Taro also succeeded Mr. Fukuda, but the LDP lost the lower house election in August 2009 to the Democratic Party of Japan, or DPJ. DPJ was faced with many difficult challenges, and saw the resignation of two prime ministers in a period of two years. Meantime, Mr. Abe, who had continued to serve as a member of the Japanese parliament, won the position of the leader of the LDP in 2012. In December 2012, the LDP won the lower house election by a landslide and regained power. Mr. Abe was appointed as the Prime Minister for the second time. Mr. Abe emphasized economics, a set of economic policies characterized by the three arrows. Tokyo's success in winning the bid for the 2020 Olympics also greatly boosted Mr. Abe. However, a series of scandals and the subsequent counterfeiting of official government documents shook the administration. 
As a result, Mr. Abe's approval ratings were volatile. However, by winning national elections, including staff elections by dissolving the lower house, Mr. Abe and the LDP maintain its power. In foreign relations, Mr. Abe's relationship with Mr. Obama was not considered to be especially strong. However, after Mr. Donald Trump became president in 2016, Mr. Abe became the first foreign leader to visit him and their relationship has been considered to be good. Mr. Abe's relationship with China has remained more or less neutral. Mr. Abe has maintained a fairly strong relationship with India, taking a step towards trilateral security cooperation among Japan, India and the United States. Mr. Abe held over 20 bilateral meetings with President Vladimir Putin to try to resolve the Northern Territories dispute with Russia, but this did not fructify. Relations with South Korea have been difficult, especially after President Moon took office. Mr. Abe also wished to hold meetings with Mr. Kim Jong-un of North Korea to resolve the Japanese abductee issue, but there was little progress. In 2020, as the COVID-19 crisis swept through the world, Mr. Abe's approval ratings plummeted to 30% as criticism rose for the government's alleged incompetence. With the prospects for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics becoming increasingly dim and the economy in damage, rumors began to spread of Mr. Abe's failing health. From June 2020, Mr. Abe was seen less and less in the media despite the critical situation with COVID-19 re-emerging across the nation. On August 24, Mr. Abe became the longest-serving prime minister in the nation's history. However, four days later on August 28, 2020, Mr. Abe held a press conference and surprised the nation by announcing his resignation. We sincerely wish for Mr. Abe's swift recovery and his good health for many years to come. Side Note 1 How did Mr. Abe's administration last for a much longer time than previous administrations? Several key factors contributed to the stability of his administration, including the weakening of factions or Hidatsu within the LDP, as well as several reforms that had been implemented to strengthen the office of Prime Minister in recent years, a weak and divided opposition, and Mr. Abe's decisions to call snap lower house elections when the opposition was weakest has also been effective. Side note 2. Interesting points about his two powerful grandfathers. It is interesting to note that his two powerful grandfathers, Mr. Konabe and Mr. Nobusu Kekishi, come from two contrasting political positions of the pre-World War II era. Mr. Konabe was one of the rare politicians who opposed all of the wars that Japan fought from the Manchurian Incident in 1931 to World War II. Even during World War II when the military regime wielded immense power, Mr. Konabe vocally opposed the war and demanded Prime Minister Tojo's resignation. On the other hand, Mr. Kishi was a government official who served as economic manager at Manchuria, and served as Minister of Commerce in the Tojo administration. As a cabinet member, Mr. Kishi signed the official decree to declare war on the United States and Great Britain. As a result, Mr. Kishi was arrested by the GHQ after Japan's defeat in World War II in 1945 as a class of war criminal suspect. Mr. Kishi was held in Sugamo prison until 1948, but was acquitted, mainly due to two reasons. First, Mr. Kishi was absent from the Imperial General Headquarters meeting in November 1941 when the war was officially decided. Second, Mr. Kishi played an integral role in bringing the Tojo administration down in 1944 when Mr. Kishi advocated for surrender and Mr. Tojo opposed the idea. So in summary, Mr. Shinzo Abe is the grandson of the most vocal opponent of all Japanese wars from 1931 to 1945. And one of the most powerful politicians of the military regime era of Imperial Japan. In order to try to gain a deeper understanding of Mr. Shinzo Abe, one must look into the strong influence of these two contrasting grandfathers. Thank you for watching Dr. D's Global News and Liberal Arts. It would be great if you can subscribe to our channel and perhaps click on the thumbs up button if you enjoyed our video.